I was asked the other day, what is the secret to golf? And I responded, hard work, 24 seven. How good players get good is by obsessing over the game and spending a ridiculous amount of time working on their game. You know, I grew up playing competitive golf. I played division one college golf. I played 12 years of mini tours and professional golf. Every one of us pursues the game with a vengeance. There is no clock. We spend hours upon hours. From a young age, I'm dropped off at a golf course and left on the golf course to, to figure out how to spend my day during the summer so my parents didn't have to deal with me. And you know what ends up happening? You end up playing some, you end up hitting some balls some, but then you run out of money and you don't have any more money for range balls. So you know what you do? You camp out on a chipping green. You see, I wasn't a privileged golfer, golfer growing up. I, I played public golf courses and I had to work my way into country clubs from my skill or by working at that country club. And so one of the things that really determines what makes a golfer great is their short game. If you watch, if, if you could see through my eyes all the professional events that I've played, good players walk straight to the chipping green. That's what they want to work on. That's the whole key to scoring. That's the whole key to playing. Now, sure, you might say it's because we don't have to worry about our long game that much, and that's true. We put a lot of time in there. But I promise you, the, the, the importance of your short game is paramount when it comes to scoring. Because the short game is the defense in golf. So, you know, they say defense wins championships in other sports. Well, in golf, your long game is your offense, but your short game and your putting is your defense. That means it, your short game and your putting defend against when you hit some poor shots in your long game. So it's your short game that you should be working on. And one thing, I have, I have one student who's a plus seven handicap. If you don't know what that means, look it up. It means he shoots seven under the course rating on average when he plays. And he's qualified for three U.S. amateurs. He's a really great player, set course records. I told him one day, the big change where he started to really play some beautiful golf is I told him, I have to catch you practicing. I need to catch you practicing at the end of the day, working on your short game. And sure enough, the very next day, he made sure that I caught him practicing. And it didn't take but a few months before all of a sudden his scores started to reveal all that practice and started to drop. So short game is something that you must give a lot of attention to. It is sincerely the microcosm for the long game, so you're really building fundamentals when you work on your short game, but you're also learning how to get the ball in the hole. Now, the more time you spend in your short game area, the more you're gonna start to develop more shots, and then you have more answers for when you get to a course. Also, as you develop those extra shots, you start to realize which ones are very difficult to play, and which ones that you don't want to leave yourself on a course. So for example, being short-sighted and having to hit lobs and flop shots or really tight shots out of bunkers is no place to get up and down from. And you know how you learn that? You learn that by spending hours and hours on a short game practice area where you start to determine, oh, this shot is clearly much easier than that one. I wanna leave myself on the fat side of the green. So as you practice your short game, you start gaining insight into just simply how to play the game. So now, we're gonna be doing with Golf Test Dummy, we're gonna be doing a one month short game program where I'm gonna be showing him the three levels of mastery in your short game. How to develop them, how to practice properly, and then how to take them to the course.